Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I am here with, let's see, the hmm, fourth layout using my Wild Hair Deluxe kit that I purchased. This is a hand curated kit um, made specifically according to the style profile that, profile that I filled out. And if you missed my unboxing video, make sure you go back and check that out because I walk you through the whole process of building that or filling out that style profile and ordering it and, and uh, excuse me, and unboxing it once I got it. Now, as you can see, I, I have a good amount of supplies left, but I've also kind of made quite a dent in the supplies. I only have one full 12 by 12 sheet left, which is what I'm cutting apart now. I do have one specialty paper left that I have not cut into yet, um, but I haven't quite figured out how I want to use that. So that's still intact. That's that pale pink with the red um, glitter hearts on it. So that's still intact. What I'm going to use is this last 12 by 12 sheet. I am going to go ahead, cut it apart, cut, trim down the cards to fit in my Project Life page protector. Um, and as you can see, I'm rounding the three by four cards in the middle, trimming them down and rounding them. And then I'm also leaving the four by six cards with the squared corners. So every time I start a new album or end an album, and typically I've been doing two albums a year for the last let's see, five years, four years. I started in 2013. So um, this will be the fifth year, I suppose. And I've been doing two albums per year. And each time I always create a title page and I always create an ending page for each album. So technically so far for each year, I'll have two title pages and two ending pages. And I don't typically use photos on my title pages. Now I know I could, I could do um, like a family photo or something like that, but I really just enjoy kind of having some decorative photo or decorative layouts. And sometimes I'll use a 12 by 12 sheet of paper that has um, a design on it, just a really pretty design on it. Sometimes I'll use a 12 by 12 paper that's just a pattern paper. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. There was the 2018 die cut that was included in the kit, so I went ahead and backed it with a little bit of this blue paper, and I'm going to put that in the bottom right corner. Now I'm going to do something up here on the top right corner, or top left corner, that I don't really like, and I really struggle with this the entire layout. So I wanted to bring some of this blue up here, and I wanted to kind of break up the whiteness of the background, um, and it worked okay, but once I embellish the rest of the layout, I don't like it quite as much, and so you're gonna see me kind of fiddle with it and change it and just try to do something with it. And if I hadn't adhered it the way that you're gonna see me adhere it, I probably would take it off. But I don't have another one of these pieces of paper, and I cannot take it off because it is very well glued down. I glued it down and then I staple it down with my tiny attacher and it's not coming off. I tried. I really did try to get it off and it's just not going to come off. Plus I am going to put one of these chipboard stickers up here at the top and I'm going to glue that down with some wet adhesive. So therefore it is also very, very stuck down and it's not going to move. So I just, I wanted to put something up here in this top corner, but it just ends up being not exactly what I was looking for. I'm okay with the final result. I'm not going to redo it, but if I had another piece of this pattern paper, I would cut the top row again and just replace it and leave them empty. I probably wouldn't embellish them. So what it says right now is all year long, and then the yellow chipboard piece says this is where it begins with a little heart, and I have it overlapping the two cards just to kind of tie the two together. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of these twine and ink enamel dots that I have. They had some really pretty... Um, colors that coordinated with this paper pretty well. I had a like a peachy pink color as well as a blue um, and the blue looked really good with that blue pattern paper that I backed the 2018 die cut with. Now I'm going through the uh, die cut pack that was included in the kit and there were a lot of different things in here that didn't really apply but there were also a lot of things in here that I could make work. One of them is this camera and then this also other like floral wreath and it says absolutely lovely and it's got that teal color on it but it, the teal is foil. I also have this little tiny piece of a ticket that was cut off and it's got that same blue and teal floral on it so I'm going to use that just layered up here at the top. And I'm just kind of creating some clusters. I'm going to use the back of one of those tickets, um, not tickets, tags rather, and do some journaling on there. And then I'm also using this floral to overlap. Now, since I'm cr using this page kind of as a full sheet, even though it's cut apart to go in the Project Life um, pockets, I am, any, p any piece that I cut off the edge, I go ahead and glue back to the next card, the card right next to it, just like that floral and just like that yellow banner as well. So I'm doing a little bit of journaling here. It's 
going to take me a minute. Excuse my crazy curly hair that's in the uh, camera here. I didn't quite mean for that to happen, but it happens and it's kind of crazy at the moment. So I'm just creating some journaling lines and then I'm going to do my journaling and it just says 2018 starts with a 7-year-old Kaylin, a 33-year-old mama, and a 37-year-old daddy. This year should bring lots of laughs and loves. And it's kind of funny because I don't think I've ever actually done the title page. Maybe I did it in 2017. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think I've ever done a title page when the year started. I think I always do it after the fact whenever I'm putting my album together and I realize, oh wait, my title page is blank. So it's kind of interesting to do the the uh, title page before the year actually has started. But I thought it'd be nice to kind of just record how old we are and kind of talk about how how we're beginning our year. We're beginning our year at these ages, and then the year is going to be documented through that age and as we turn the next year older. So all of those pages, of course, will be documented. I always take photos on birthdays. I always document those. I always document the different events that we do. And so I just thought it'd be nice to kind of get a quick overview of what this album is going to include. Um, I don't know why I never thought about doing that in the title pages before just documenting our ages that so you could calculate it and figure it out. I still thought it'd be nice just to have on that title page. Now this is where I decide, okay, I don't really like that title. It's just not working for me. I was trying to figure out what to do with this, um, with this blue card up here. It just wasn't, it was not working for me and I couldn't quite figure out how to fix it. So I'm going to kind of play around with a few things to see if I can make it any better. And so instead of saying all year long, I changed it to a new year which I felt like was a little bit better. I'm also adding all these different enamel dots and using up that enamel dot package. I'm trying to work with this washi tape. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with it. It just, for whatever reason, it just wasn't working for me. But I am going to add one piece down here and it just says, um, so the die cut said absolutely lovely. And this just says, and sweet. So it says absolutely lovely and sweet. And I tried to use an ampersand that I had already cut apart to see if there was another place I could put it. But I end up not. I just end up taking off some of that washi tape and getting down to the um, sentiment that says, and memories. And so I'm putting that right at the end of the journaling. So it just says, this year should bring a lot of laughs and loves and memories. I just took out the tiny attacher staple that was on the bottom right of that tag and just layered the washi tape over it. Now I have this last die cut that's a um, little cluster of cherries and it says sweet thing and I'm going to cut the sweet thing out and layer it in kind of this blank empty blue spot before uh, beside the uh, new year. So it's going to say sweet thing there and then that is actually going to finish out this layout. Not my absolute 100% favorite because I would redo that top row of cards, but I do like how it turned out overall, and I am pleased that this is going to be in my album. So thank you so much for joining me today. I will have some still photos at the end for you, and then as always, check the description box below for all the links that pertain to this kit and the other videos that I've done. All right, guys, thank you so much. Bye. Bye.